Hey everybody, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. Yay, we're gonna finally install the pages inside this folio. So this is a double-sided um, folio. So we've got the Lady Vagabond side and the Sir Vagabond side. So we're gonna open it up and we're gonna get the Lady Vagabond stuff installed. Okay, so here we go. So what's important when you're installing these pages is that the gusset, you want it to be away from the hinge. So when the album is closed, you've got this nice clean edge instead of a bunch of a bunch of hinges showing up like this one or even this one where you've got hinges and gussets of different sizes. You want this nice clean edge, okay? So the way I designed it, page one has the suitcases and page two has um, the lady looking across at the suitcases, okay? So these are covered with tape on the background, but on the back, but I am going to go ahead and um, add glue so that I got a little bit of time to slide things around to get them just where I want them. Okay, I think it's time to get the tape off, and there's a lot of tape. So remember, these are on chipboard, so they're nice and sturdy, which is nice. You don't have to use tape. You can glue these down if you want, but I'm going to do both. I'm going to use tape and glue. The glue is really more just about um, giving myself a little buy time um, to get it wiggled into place. Okay, so make sure you've got your gusset going toward the outside of the book. Now these are designed one quarter inch smaller than the cover. So you're gonna want about an eighth of an inch around these three sides. You don't have to cover everything. The glue itself creates a little bit of a rise and that's just enough to keep the tape from grabbing when you, when you turn it over. So it'll allow you to wiggle just a little bit so you don't have to cover it. It's just that little bit of rise that's gonna buy you the time to get it into place, okay? It is gonna be a little bit fussy because this gusset wants to move around on you. So again, we're going for an eighth of an inch border, top and bottom. And you know what I decided is I want to see, better see these three sides. So I just turned it. So I have a better visual top to bottom. Okay. That's in. So I'm going to open all my flaps and get down to my base page and press in place, okay? There we go. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing here. <clears throat> I don't usually use um, these big, large pieces of score tape. They're kind of hard for me to manage, but for, for using it on chipboard, it was, it was easy um, because the chipboard's so rigid, it doesn't want to move on you, but it can be kind of a hard, hard to handle. All right, now, the way this is going to close is like so. So again, you want to make sure that gusset is on this side. It's a little bit confusing. So it's going to be, you've got a gusset on 
the left outside and on the right outside, but then when you close it up together, it'll meet in the middle. Hopefully that makes sense. And I had to turn it around so I could see these two edges. This black on black is a challenge. I think I'm off screen, but I'm trying to get a nice even eighth inch gut, um, border, top, bottom, and not quite, not quite. close it you'll see how that goes together nice okay now we're going to do the same thing on the sir so basically when you open the book you're going to go through the lady vagabond then you're going to close the lady vagabond then you open it up and here's the sir vag vagabond so that's the way it's going to work so this one goes here and then this one goes here i'm going to go ahead and lay this one in first i think So one of the things I was thinking about when I made this album, because it's a he, she album, but it's an easy album or it's a, it's a neat idea if you have like two kids, for example, you could have one side of the book be one kid and the other side another. If you have a set of twins, um, two events that you want to do. That kind of thing, I like it. You could do first year anniversary on side A and 10 year anniversary on side B. So you can kind of compare. Anyways, uh, I had originally thought of this idea when I was doing um, a Stamperia little girl collection because they had the little boy collection also and I was thinking about doing something like this for that and that would have worked out really well too. So anyways, I like the concept. Um, although I struggled with the folio idea in general, but I do like the idea of this double-sided um, book. It's kind of fun. It's different. Okay, I had a panic attack. I gotta make sure everything's right side up. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> Best to check and check, right? Check, check, and recheck. Okay, we're looking for an eighth inch border, top, bottom. And I don't think that's in good enough. I think it was too far away from the edge. When I say edge, I meant spine. Okay. If you're tired, wait. Don't don't do this if you're tired. <laughs> you could get frustrated. Okay, our last one is going to go right here. And this is very simple, but like I said, uh, when I was designing it, it's likely that I'm going to put some embellishments on the front of it. Um, some cut-aparts and just some things to make it a little more interesting.
So if you'll notice, I did, the, this is my fourth one, but I've already had to lift two of them up. So I really do recommend um, the glue to give yourself a chance to, to lift it back up. If it's just tape, you can get it off with undo, but then you're gonna have to wait a long time for it to dry before you can reapply it. So um, just be cautious. And again, I would recommend using some glue just to buy yourself some time. Okay, so that's one side, and then there's the other side, okay? And you're wanna, gonna wanna get down to the bottom layers and just press, make sure that chipboard is securely in place, okay? That is it. So the next time we get back, we're going to decorate the, si the outsides and, um, I lost my train of thought, and the spines. Um, so we'll be back soon to do the outside and the spines. Okay, I trimmed out the pages that I'm gonna use for the covers. So this is going to be the Sir Vagabond. And I'm, right now I'm just gonna put down the base. Um, I'm not going to embellish it at the moment. And by the way, I'm gonna keep my embellishments pretty simple because the book needs to lay flat on both sides because there's two covers. So I am gonna add some elements, but they're not gonna be very dimensional. So it's something to consider um, as you're designing your album. You know, you need to keep in mind that both the front and back need to lay flat when you're looking through the book, or relatively flat. That's too high up, I gotta reposition it. Better, better. Okay, and then Lady Vagabond, yep, on this side. go. Now for the spine, I have these two one inch strips and they're just very simple. Um, and they're just going to go right like so. And they actually need to be trimmed down a little bit, I think. And uh, they'll be the same for both sides. I think I started... Yeah, these need to be an inch and I think they're a little bit wider than an inch. Or at least one of them is. This one's an inch, let's see how it fits. Yeah, I think one inch will fit. Let me check the writing. The other one's a little bit wider, so I'm gonna have to take a quick sliver off of it before we install it. And these, it was this was a border on one of the pages uh, of the 12 by 12 collection, which one I can't remember, but you, it doesn't really matter, right? You can, uh, anything, you've got a one inch strip of anything, you can use it here, right? Okay. Well, we're winding down. I hope you guys have learned a few things and 
are inspired to do something on your own. Okay, now I'm going to trim down the other one. And it'll go on this side. Oh my goodness, I can't get can't get a grip. This is a heavy book. Partly because I guess I used 80-pound uh, cardstock, so in general everything's heavier. like I need to get a little glue under this corner. A lot of times after I'm done I'll go back and double check edges. Um, and I can see I missed the edge here too. Sometimes I stay too clear from the corner because I don't want it to squirt out, make a mess. Okay, so there is our, our spine. Okay, and there's our covers. All right, that's our Lady Vagabond and Sir Vagabond double album. Okay, that's it for now. So I am gonna go offline actually and do some embellishing and you guys are gonna see that in the walkthrough as far as tutorials, this is the end. Um, any, any embellishments you'll have to pick up in the um, walkthrough. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. Um, if you aren't a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when we have new content. We try to get something out every couple of weeks. Um, we spe specialize in Graphic 45, Stamperia, and Ciao Bella. So if those are paper collections that you like, come on over to our channel. We usually have some good content on that. So again, thanks for joining us here at Scrap and Create, and we'll see you soon.